week cleaning up an oil spill in the Tuscaroras River. Sadly, this spill has killed some animals and others are still recovering at wildlife facilities. Our Kelly Kennedy spoke with a local man who made the shocking discovery and reported it to the EPA and gives us an update on how some of those animals are doing. Take a look at this. Geese and muskrats soaked in oil and struggling to survive. James Carnahan made the gruesome discovery last weekend. I cried. I mean, it hurt me so bad because the river was gone. I mean, it was just nothing but death. There were dead ducks. Um, you could see coated animals everywhere. Last Wednesday, Noble Oil Services was transferring oil from a tanker truck to a rail car on Snyder Avenue. The company tells me the hose either broke or came loose and oil spilled out. But at first they didn't realize that some oil had spilled into the storm drain, which ended up in the river. It was actually Carnahan who noticed and reported it later that week. Did you ever wonder about how much worse this could have been if you hadn't noticed it when you did? Actually, that's kind of what made me angry was is that I felt like everybody was just, you know, kind of giving me a, a, a nice little dance and they were saying, yeah, it's being handled. I'm looking at it and I'm saying it's not being handled. You know, we're talking five days after the incident before anybody publicly uh, uh, announced that there was a spill. The vice president of risk management with Noble Oil tells me at this point they aren't sure exactly how much oil spilled. Ironically, the North Carolina based company is typically involved in cleaning up oil spills and recycling oil. Tim Jasinski is a wildlife rehabilitation specialist at Lake Erie Nature and Science Center. They are currently taking care of 45 Canada geese. They were in horrible condition. They were soaked, completely soaked in oil. Thankfully, the geese are making progress. I reached out to ODNR to see exactly how many animals were affected, but I haven't heard back yet. So when they first come in after an oil spill, uh, you have to give them fluids, um, give them other things to kind of help counteract the oil in their system because when they're preening to clean their feathers, they're actually ingesting that oil. So um, we have to get their systems kind of cleaned, then wash the birds once they're stable. Carnahan finally feels like Noble Oil's crews are making progress. I was able to kind of see the crews in action that were doing the cleanup, mm -hmm. and uh, they are making a difference. There is an impact. We still need rain. We need a lot of rain to clear this up, but they're actually manually cleaning a lot of it up. The EPA says Barberton's drinking water is safe. Noble Oil tells me they won't stop until all of the oil is out of the river, but they feel like they're getting pretty close and the cleanup process is almost finished. The vice president of risk management tells me they're investigating exactly how this happened and they're taking steps to make sure it doesn't happen again. Reporting in Barberton, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.